Chupapi Muñeño? Muñeño. The Canelo Alvarez diehard fans attempt to troll Caleb Plant versus Anthony Durrell. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live boxing ego unpack. Yeah. In this video, I'm going to talk about that very subject. The Canelo Man fans trying to find a way to get mad at or hate on Caleb Plant and his fight with Anthony Durrell. So buckle up. We unpacked. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I looked in the last 28 days, 48% of you have subscribed to my content that consumed it. So I appreciate the love. I mean, we got a phenomenal support system, but that means about 50% of you have not yet subscribed to my channel in the last 28 days that consumed the content. So consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button cost you nothing worst case scenario unsubscribe if you don't like the content but we drop in heat so we about 50 percent. we got to get that up now without further ado we unpack unpacked is my original series often imitated but never duplicated where i get to kind of deep dive into some of these situations in boxing now I have multiple popular platforms from my old Instagram. You know, we getting back up there, but, uh, you know, it's going to be some work. But this is what I'm here for. I'm no stranger to hard work. So the Facebook is cracking. Uh, you know, some of you follow me on Twitter. Some of you follow my Instagram. If not, follow me, Boxing Ego one And I made a graphic, a little graphic announcing this and it looks like Caleb Plant versus Anthony Durrell. That's the rumor. I personally, I'm going to actually put you, put you in touch with what I said. So you guys, just so nothing could be misconstrued. I said, ego rumor mill. I personally love this fight. Anthony Durrell sizzled with that uppercut knockout in his last fight. And Caleb Plant and Darrell have a past history of exchanging words. The winner of this could face the winner of David Benavidez versus David Lemieux. Hashtag plant Darrell. So come back to the channel. Showtime will do their un their official unveiling of the fights. I think this fight should be on it unless it's going to be on Fox. But it looks like this fight is about to go down. Now, a lot of people hit me up and said it was a great fight and concurred with what I said. I like this fight, you know, and I don't just get on here and say stuff. This is actually a good fight. However, I noticed a pattern. The people complaining about it, a lot of them were longtime subscribers to my channel, or I've seen them on Instagram or Facebook. Some people DM me and the ones that were saying the fight was garbage. If you look on their page or some of them, you know, I recognize the, the account. A lot of them were Canelo fans. So I was like, oh, OK. Now, at this point, I don't even know if Canelo, some of his fans, if it's a cult, you know, like the Jonestown massacre. I don't I don't know. I, I'm wondering because it's, it's teetering on the edge of like obsession. Now, I understand Caleb Plant. He slapped Canelo. They had the exchange of words, but Canelo got the last laugh with that by winning the fight, you know, on under the bright lights. He won. Congratulations to him. I told you. And, and let me say this since we're doing an unpack. There are a lot of people that lie on my name. I know what I say because I'm there when I say it. Some people were saying I picked Caleb Plant to beat Canelo Alvarez. Never said that. I didn't say he was going to beat him. I said it's a fight. One, I want to see. And two, I think he'll give him a harder fight than most of the fights that he's fought recently. That's what I said. I think he could challenge. He could challenge. 
you know, and um, it's hard. Like, my thing is this with Canelo. It's hard to, like, he has a chin, and if you can't do what Floyd Mayweather did, then he's going to be hard to beat on the scorecards. So if you can't, like, demolish him or, like, if you don't do a demo job, you don't knock him down a gang of times or knock him out, which, again, he has a chin, then it's going to be hard to beat. So going into any Canelo fight, if a guy has limited power, you got to watch out for that. You got to watch out for and Caleb Plant. You know, he could box. And I told you he would put Canelo in some, you know, tricky spots. And I thought he was doing good. You know, some people, I, I don't know what, what you guys watched or whatever. I thought Caleb Plant was doing pretty good for himself. He did better than, I mean, look at Yildrum. You know, people kept saying that Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Smith were the best guys at 168. And I told you that I thought David Benavidez was. And I even would rate Caleb Plant higher than those guys. Right. And people, they're like, oh, no. Ask yourself this question. Being honest with yourself, did Caleb Smith do better? Like, I understand he made it an extra round and didn't get knocked out. But he's also like six foot four or whatever height he is. Did he do better than Caleb Plant like be real with yourself did he do better because I thought he got punished and Canelo he made it look easy there was no thinking no child like Canelo just did what he wanted and popped his man arm and had him looking like Popeye Hellboy at the end of the fight so I don't I don't think so then with the Billy Joe Saunders he got knocked out sooner than Caleb Plant Right. So one guy, Caleb Smith, he lasted an extra round, but he also lost every second of every round and it was non competitive. And then the other guy got his orbital broken and retired and got knocked out crazy by Canelo. So I don't think Caleb Plant did bad. Now, fast forward to this Caleb Plant fight. I like the Darrell fight. I really do. And I don't just say anything just to be saying it. I know Caleb Plant too. But if I thought his fight was trash, then I would say that too. I actually really like the fight. Again, I don't know if Canelo, if the man fans, the Chupapi Munenos, I don't know if it's a cult at this point or if, or if it's even real boxing fans behind some of the accounts that I see. Because... In the eyes of the Canelo man fans, Canelo could do no wrong. Even fights like this, where he's fighting a Russian fighter in the worst possible time that he could fight a Russian fighter because there's an invasion where Russia is encouraging piracy because Instagrams and social medias and stuff are banning certain correspondents and things like that. And there's an invasion over Ukraine. And this is when Canelo decides to, to make this fight horrible timing and his own horrible timing for them because they jump in the mix and after lying for several years saying they're going to put showtime boxing out of business and kill the pay-per-view model they didn't do that and now they're actually saying this fight as you guys see on the screen is his own pay-per-view so not only is the the front man with the money lynn blavnik not only is he Russian you have Canelo fighting a Russian and he's fighting on the DAZN app and they're charging pay-per-view so we'll see we'll see how that plays out and what type of sales Canelo the money man generates but back to the Caleb Plant fight now I gotta stand up for real boxing again I don't know if some of the Canelo fans are just trolls or they just in love with one fighter or what but I'm here to talk boxing and Canelo he's a great fighter I like Canelo he's you know he can fight but you got to be realistic because I actually posted this. I said, it's funny to see some people's reaction to PBC fights like hashtag Charlo Munguia, Plant Durrell, or Javante Davis and Roley. They say things like, quote, oh, this stinks. I hate this fight. But they be watching random Eddie Hearn backyard shenanigan fights in the UK and they have absolutely no problem with it. And I see 
on Twitter or wherever, when people are doing the blow by blow commentary and stuff, they're watching a lot lower level products that are being put out with no complaints. We know what time it is. The race fans, the racists, we know what time it is. At the end of the day, it's like certain guys are, are deemed the enemy or Al Heyman is PBC and Steven Espinosa's a weasel and uh, Leonard Ellerby is the devil and the PBC fighters don't want to fight. You know, it, it's just old media, they struggling. So they have to create these like narratives. And now you're seeing it bleed over with a good fight with Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell. Again, I have no problem with the fight. I seen mostly Canelo Alvarez fans in the comment section hating on the fight. And it sounds pathetic. And again, I'm really starting to question the who's who it's not just canelo fans because i've seen some other people hating but i'm really starting to question boxing fans in general if i'm being honest right i'm really starting to question do you do you like jay-z said do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it do you fools watch boxing or do you just skim through it i am really starting to ask like that question because again like i said in my tweet it's very funny to see the reaction for like, oh, Gervonta, he sucks. And why is he fighting Roley? Nobody asked for this. And Caleb Plant, nobody asked for this derail. But then people watching Lay Wood and, you know, lay him down in other fights. And people said it was a pretty good fight. But I was I was out and about, you know. But there's it's not even just that fight. There's there's Eddie Hearn has other fights that are like super backyard shenanigan alan babic versus savic rabbit and rascally rabbit and some of these same people that hate all these other fights and these pbc fights and pbc dropping heat wait till that showtime schedule come out hint hint and and you know they have a problem with all these other fights it's just it's laughable my dude Heyman's planet what do you say PBC just happens to be the only major black owned promotion in the sport. All the biggest come together to demonize them for likes and clicks. Wow. And he's not even black. They're saying this FYI. And he said, hashtag stay woke. <laughs> Shout out to Heyman's planet, man. I mean, it's just laughable. I think the Caleb plant fight and Darrell fight is, is good. Again, rest in peace to Scott Hall, man. That hurt my heart. Grew up on razor Ramon. NWO. Yeah, that, that was rough. Rest in peace. Condolences go out to Scott Hall's entire family and legion of fans. And this is also what I said. We unpacked. I told you. That's why I like to unpack. We take our time. You know, we don't need to rush our work. We, we just, we, you guys, you got me. We're going to pace it. Like Indiana, I'm a pacer. Many boxing fans are ridiculous and not realistic at all. Oh, yeah. And insanely hypocritical. People complain when a fighter is inactive, but then they're angry about fights like Caleb Plant versus Darrell, LOL. And he's coming off of a knockout loss in November. Who do you expect him to fight? God, get the F out of here. Right. Again, back to the Caleb Plant Darrell fight. I like the fight. Some people were trying to tell me that I didn't really like, you know, the fight and I was just acting like I like. No, I really like the fight. I know both of them. Anthony Durrell, if you do you fools listen to boxing or do you just skim through it? Anthony Durrell had a top five knockout of the year type of knockout in his very last fight. Caleb Plant was in there with the supposed face of boxing and win 11 rounds and gave him some issue in certain spots before getting knocked out. He is coming off of a loss. Who do you expect him to fight? Like boxing fans, this, this would listen, let this be clear. And I know I told you guys to subscribe at the beginning of the channel, but I don't, I'm not thirsty for anything, money, subscribers or anything. Do not come to my channel. If you're not willing to learn and help and grow the sport of boxing. You know, I mean, you can come. You'll probably just get blocked, though, when you start firing off with stupid stupidity. But anyway, he just fought November 6th. This is how hypocritical boxing fans are. And you see that in the 11th round, 
he was stopped a tko stoppage rifle stoppage canelo got him clipped him finished him great finishing spirit by canelo bravo and now we're mid-march mid-march and he's already back in the ring fighting another top five six guy in the division who fought against david benavidez and i was at that fight and he was beating david benavidez if i'm being frank and then when david benavidez got that cut to open up over his eye then he started smelling blood and it's kind of like the better be of fight with marcus brown where marcus brown was doing good and then when better be got cut it it actually woke hit they both were cut but it woke up better be game david benavidez his game he wasn't cut but when Darrell got cut, he started like targeting that. And then he ended up getting the stoppage. So fair play to him. But at the end of the day, he did good. Like, you know what I'm saying? And David Benavides is the only person to stop him. So this is a great fight. Again, do you fools listen to boxing or do you just skim through it? Who do you want Caleb Plant to fight? A lot of unrealistic poppycock, right? People are saying, oh, he need to fight Benavides. Again, you're not in the know. I understand Benavidez's team said they won in negotiations, declined and all that. But Benavidez is already in camp for David Lemieux. This is why you guys got to subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest. Because it's clear and evident that some of y'all muff don't know what y'all talking about. He's fighting David Lemieux for a WBC eliminator. So he's not planning on pulling out unless you know god forbid some unforeseen emergency or something so david benavidez people are saying caleb plant ducked and this he has a fight so coming off a loss anthony Durrell is an amazing fight for him and then i also said this and the same people don't have a problem with canelo Pede fighting yildrums when we know they can't compete with him and they say he hasn't lost since Mayweather technically or on paper he hasn't lost even though I think he did lose to other fights like Golovkin and Edislandi Lada but on paper he had, Canelo hasn't lost since the Mayweather fight and we knew that guys like Rocky Fielding and Amir Khan and Liam Liams and Kalem and Billiam Liams and all these dudes we knew they weren't on Canelo's level and he still fought them right and some of them didn't have belts like like recognized number like end all be all belts like rocky fielding and yudrum and stuff like that but then all the canelo man fans is hard up on caleb plant and anthony Durrell, and caleb's coming off of a knockout loss as i mentioned and Durrell is coming off of a sensational ko and the two the two have exchanged words i think it was the caleb true right around the caleb truex fight when plant fought caleb plant fought caleb truex and beat him Darrell was commenting and like snarky on his performance saying plant didn't do that much and he should have did a lot better with what he was in there with and they had a back and forth so it's a great backstory so haters gonna hate caleb's coming off a knockout loss from november the fans they bemoan and complain and say guys need to stay active and the same fans have no problem with guys like jaime mungia he just fought against Demetrius Ballard you know what I mean and he was highly inactive Ryan Garcia is f fighting Emmanuel Tago and these are guys coming off wins and no one in the, in boxing has problems with these matchmaking um or you know Miguel Berchel with top rank he's fighting a guy Shakur Stevenson already beat Nakathila he's coming off a loss to Oscar Valdez but the pressure's on Caleb Plant and he fighting Anthony the dog Darrell. Y'all don't know boxing. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Y'all don't know boxing. That's all I really got to say. We unpack. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready. 
with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.